In this video, we're going to focus on one of the viewers' questions where we're going to answer how we can show or hide all images or show them when we select them or show a specific image or tag when we select a specific item here. So in this case, I'm just using paragraphs here, but of course you can apply this to any tag you have, images, links, etc., etc. So let's explore how to do this. In this video, we'll answer one of the viewers question. And in this case, it's specifically on JavaScript only, not on Chart.js. All right, so this question came on YouTube, but for some reason YouTube didn't allow it or it doesn't show anymore because there was a lot of code in there. So let me read this short story here. So this is from Tutor Plus. First of all, thank you for asking Tutor Plus. And let's start to look what Tutor Plus was asking. Hi, once again, great content. I know you are excellent in JavaScript. Well, to be honest, I am getting more experience in it, but I know that there are far more better people out there that are very good at it. However, I'm trying to show and hide image on selection of a drop down value. This is not relevant to chart yes, but in general JavaScript question. Uh, I have code that is working, but it is not optimized. I will leave the code below. And then you will see the co code here below. I will show you that later on. I'm struggling with plain J JavaScript. In code, I can display any selection with the appropriate image when selected and also when the page loads. Is it possible to have the same functionality when loop is implemented? Can you please make a video on this topic? My humble request, best wishes. All right, so yes, we will. And I'll show you exactly how to do it. So this is the code and don't spend your time copying the code. I'm going to show you exactly from scratch how to do it. So basically there's an input here, assuming that there are three images or three tags in this case, I'm going to do just very simple paragraph tags, but those can be converted into an image. And this is basically what you want. You want to have a drop down, And when you have a drop down, you have here basically the selected value. The moment we select a value, if value would be equal to image one, show image one and hide every other image. And the same goes here if we select image two or three, or if we select the value all, meaning we want to show every single item here. So he uses here the block and the none. All right. So what I personally would recommend is convert it into a class. So let's start to work on this. I'm going to delete everything here because we will not work with this. I'm going to start completely from scratch. All right. First of all, what we're going to do is here quite straightforward. We're going to create here a select and in this select we can give it an id as well it doesn't matter uh, show image and eventually we'll put in here a, a on change however here we have the option and what we're going to do here in the option is i'm just going to put in here value and then we say here oh, value and img1 and this will be img or show img1 straightforward I'll copy this two more times there we are and then here img2 img3 there we are number two and number three as well so what we're going to do now is here we want to trigger this with a function here which is a on on change function so the moment we select a new value something will change us here so we say here on change then in here, the value, let's give this a very simple uh, function name, show images, all right? And then here, we're going to put in the value of this. And this makes it easier because then we will pinpoint this specific option value or whatever the selected value is. And I'm going to show you later on how this works. All right, uh, what we need more is here before we even continue on, we're going to put in here a paragraph. I'm going to make three paragraphs and I'm going to say here ID and this ID will be IMG1. So this can be images as well. You can imagine it, but I'm just making paragraphs for now just to be simplified here. So IMG1, IMG2, and finally IMG number three. Save this. If I refresh here now, we have this. All right. Oh, before I continue on, I realized I forgot one, which is the all value, meaning everything show all images all right so there we are now we have everything correctly we have three four options in, to, in total and what i will do i'll just for the sake of it 
because that's probably how it should be and then we say here this one will be selected by default all right so this is the selected first one so that when, when we have this we see all the images and then we can select whatever we want all right here now we get the function in the function very straightforward we want to grab this say function show images and then here we have basically the the parameter this is the argument and the argument here is now this and this refers to everything here i'm going to show you exactly what this does so you have an understanding because this value here is very powerful okay here we can just give that the parameter name uh, uh, image item for example and then we have here curly braces and then in here just the console log just to make sure you can see the real power of this specific item here save this refresh open up console log then once we select you will see here now what is happening we will grab here the entire engine with everything but you will see uh, everything basically here what I want to do now is just we want to get not only or we don't want everything we want the value specific so we're going to make this one I'm going to show you this we have this put in here uh, dot value so we are going to extract the value that we have selected here so if I save this now refresh show image there you are and then we have here another one there you are image two and there you are so this because what you did was you hard coded them every individual item and that will not work if you have 100 images or let's say 20 images you have a massive length of code and this here what we're doing now will simplify it all right so now we have this or now we have the value extraction here even if you would have another item it will instantly grab it. what we're going to do now we're going to create a constant and this constant will be called image and what we're going to do here is I'm going to give the class. I'm going to give all of these items a class, and this will be a reason for it. I'm going to show you afterwards. Because we want to have now automatically grab every of these images and how we do that by using the class. So we say here the following command. We say here document dot query and query means search selector. And what is a selector? This is the selector. Basically, this everything is a selector. And then we say here query selector all meaning we want to search every single item with the class name i'm going to grab this i put in here this is a string when you put in the dot the dot indicates class so with the class name img all right so once we do this we will have here if we do console.log we can now see we have this and you will also see because maybe this will not mean much if I say here dot length, you will grab and you will see we find three specific items or selectors with the class name of image. So now if I select something, we have here number three, and you can see here these are you might say it's an array, but it's not an array, it's a note list. And a note list is more advanced than an array because it consists of everything in here. However, it does help us pinpointing here so it works almost similar to an array and the length is three which is correct so if i would add up here a new item you will see that length will be four let's put in this one save that and here select all right length is four all right so now we have this and what i really want to do is basically this i'm going to reset consistently in the loop because what you did was you have all of these specified individually and i did this before as well but what i really want to do is with this we're going to just always set by default everything on on hidden and then we're going to based on whatever the selection is show that specific uh, selector or tag in this case all right so to do this let's do it very simple we're going to say here a class i want to have a class i'm going to use a very common bootstrap class is a denon, but I didn't have any bootstrap in here, but I just make the same. And I say here display none. All right. So basically, what happened is if we add this class on one of our items, it will hide the options here. So if I save this here, you can see it hides now image number one. All right. So that's good. I'm going to put it back. And now what we do is the following we're going to make now here our first function. 
or sorry, not our first function, but the first part of it. So we say hide all by default. That's number one. So what we say here is we say IMG, which is the image selector all, from to every item here. And then we say here for each. And for each is, I tend to use a lot of times the uh, for loop, but for each is probably more appropriate for here. And the reason why is this. We're going to work with these items here. It will count the length. And then it will, uh, if you are familiar with arrays, it will start with zero and then we'll up to three. And the length is four, so it's usually have to do minus one. In this case, we just say just every time you find one item, do exactly the same. So we don't have to do a minus one here. All right. So we say here, first of all, the function name. So we show all. Oh, sorry. Not show all. We're going to do hide all. And this is the function name here. There is a function. Then hide all. And then we do the following. We're going to do a function or we're going to do something on every single item here and every item that we need to name it so i'll just call it here an img item all right or img tag for every img tag within this same category that matches here we will do the following and what are we going to do it's very straightforward we say img uh, tag then we say dot class list Dot add. And what are we going to add? Straightforward, the denom, this specific class. So if I save this now and refresh, now if I do this, you can see every one of them has now been hidden. Nice. Of course, we still need to adjust this, so let's start to work on the next part. So the next part would be show. Well, what we're going to do is here, we're going to do show all if all is selected. And what we want to do here is then an if statement, and the if statement will just validate the following here. We say if, and then we're going to grab here the uh, image item, item, or I guess here maybe it's the selection here. I realize that this should be maybe the selection because we select that, but that doesn't matter. So if image item dot value, and then we can say here equals. Uh, let's see this is written in small letters so I'm going to do it here equals strict let's see if equals strict work I thought it didn't work so I just make it like this for just to be sure and then we say here if that is the case then we want to do the following basically what we're doing here again a for each you can just copy all of this but you say here for each and then we say show all and what does show all do this is a function show all does exactly the same we say I image tag but now instead of adding here we're going to remove again the specific d non class so we're going to we can copy this we say here remove the specific class all right if i save this now and refresh if i select here something all right and then if i do this it shows again and if i do that you can see this one doesn't work yet, but we're very close to it. Final item here is, of course, once we have this if statement done here, or let's double check if the all works, if we do it equal strict. Refresh here. Let's do that and that. All right, that works nicely as well. Then I would say go for equal strict instead of uh, equal or double equal. The reason why is that this is more efficient and faster. So next what we want to do is the uh, final item which is an if statement is yes, so if and then we say here again you can just copy this if this is not equal to all in that case what we're going to do here is we're going to grab the specific item there is a document dot get element by id and then we say here what exactly we want. Well, we want very straightforward. What is the ID name? If I'm not mistaken, here we have this. Um, is this really allowed? I realize I might create an issue here for that. Oh, no, uh, I mean, uh, I'm mistaken. This is correct because the reason why, if it's not all, I'm, I'm, I thought we had. 
we have the all we don't have the id of all so let me show you then so if this let me say dot oh, what happened here dot class list dot remove the none all right so what really happens here is the following it will remove the none the d none the moment we selected a specific item it will recognize what is the what is the id name because we have here this matching the id name here so if i save this now refresh i show that all right show this all right show this one all right and you see id number four or image number four is not being shown here however if we will add up image number four now we could just put it in there this number four save refresh go back here go to number four and go back to all there we are beautiful so this is basically how you can do it it will look it faster it saves you a lot more time it's a bit more concise if i remove all of this you will see it gets far more concise here there we are and there we are so i hope this event gives your answer and if you have any other question you can always put them in the comment section below